Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Welcome to My Time to Journal, an untrained person playing with lots of art supplies and having fun. Join me. Good morning, good morning. Let's see here. When I finish a page, I put a sticker up like that. So, okay. This is going to be swallowed. Is that what I said? Swallowed by the Empty Black Knight. This is our prompt for today. And I think this is going to take me to the end of April. And I have May's project planned. Don't ask me why I feel like I have to start a project at the beginning of the month. Don't ask me. This is my little notebook where I've been kind of um, working with the story part of it. And I put yellow borders around it because, hello, it's National Geographic. And then I found my Studio Calico. I think this is Studio Calico. No, Coco Daisy. Um, yellow journal cover. <laughs> so we are primed and ready. Except that I have no idea what I'm going to do again today, which is fine. I don't like to know. And if you're new, welcome. There's lots of new people coming in. This is a journal where I'm using my own kind of prompts from a National Geographic, whether it's layout, color, words, whatever, to make a journal. And then I'm weaving a little tiny bit of a story around it also. This was yesterday and gargoyles are making a big impact here because this is an episode from February of 2022 where they're starting to talk of they were doing an article about the restoration of Notre Dame after the big fire which I think was three years ago that's hard to believe it's hard to believe in five days we have May or whatever it is it's crazy time is going way too fast all right where's my clip hmm. I played outside a little bit I may have left all that stuff in my bag okay we can use that one that's okay um, swallowed by the night. Okay, this is going to be the wording for my story. Swallowed by the night is our inspiration. Night coverage for robbery or theft was my initial idea, but then I morphed into another idea. Murray, who is our missing gargoyle, Murray detached and in the confusion, detached himself and in the confusion of firefighters and people, Murray ran away. This is our missing gargoyles story that's coming about because there were gargoyles in the article and one of the titles of one of the pages, oops, one of the pages said on the trail of the, we just, I just continued with that on the trail of the missing gargoyle and then it kind of morphed. That's just how it happens. It just morphs. But what journal is this? Oh, it's a Coco Daisy one. Oh. And a black one. No, just a black folder. Okay. Coco Daisy journal. Oh. Oh, I like all these papers. I've had these for a year or two. Making your daily schedule a little brighter. Well, I don't use it for daily scheduling. That's a Hobonichi. And that's done after the fact. Um, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I was in my closet looking for my spirals for my cinch. Haven't found them yet. Not giving up. But I found a gigantic tub of paper. <laughs> I, I, I mean, a huge box of paper. Just paper. Not scrapbook paper or anything else. Just stuff I ripped out of magazines or painted on or whatever. I'm like, really? Lady, you have a problem. But isn't it a fun problem? Yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm going to have to fast forward because I have no idea what I'm going to do. I might bring that tub of paper in here. Yeah, let's see if we can get some good new inspiration.
Okay. This is my big bin of paper, which turns out to be a bunch of travel. Oh, oh no, that's not enough of them. Travel stuff. Oh, uh, there's Israel. There's Germany. Um. Oh, business cards <laughs> from when I was doing quilting more. I think those can go in the trash. Oh, no, they could be journals. Yes, they could. Okay. Let's not throw that. Oh! Halloween drawer. Okay. Oh, here's more Israel. Is I think a lot of this is Israel. It seems like books that I picked up. And a lot of, pa oh my God, no. The top is Israel. The bottom is all paper. Let's, let's, take, let's skim off the top here. Oh, here's another little Halloween book. I think I cut that one apart. Oh, tornadoes. <gasps> we had two more earthquakes last, last week. Halloween. Good grief. Oh, this, I look like, what's this? Oh. To jot down quick notes. Oh, huh, I made this. I don't remember what I made it for. But it's just quilted scraps. Probably a phone case, like, to put in your purse or something, but that's a big phone. Okay. Oh, business. I mean, um, three by five cards. Okay. Oh, a little tray. A zipper pouch. You can always use zipper pouches, right, Curtie? Oh, don't need the bank statements. Oh, bon Kuchin paper. <gasps> Envelopes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. These are extra pictures. Oh, there's snow on our deck many years ago. There's our granddaughter, who is now almost as tall as me, <gasps> as a ballerina. Snow White. To choose, Snow White or Sleeping Beauty, I think. No, Elsa and Snow White. Asleep. Oh, this is when we took her to Disneyland, Disney World. Oh, Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, my sister and I being silly. Oh, the granddaughter sound asleep. Oh, all of us. The Christmas tree. Oh, my mom and dad's. Oh, oh my mom and dad. Oh, this is one of my favorite pictures of her. Oh, me quilting. What was this? <gasps> That's the first time I went to Missouri Star Quilt Retreat. doesn't have a date on it. Okay. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Those needs need to be put someplace better. Oh, here's a huge building in Amsterdam on the water. Okay. Ooh, Frosty the Snowman. This will make a great Christmas December daily book. Hmm, let's put this in our Christmas drawer. Oh dear, this is gonna take longer today than I thought. Ooh, oh, the little things that you get from Flow Magazine. They put little books, I don't know if they still do. Uh, my creative vacation book. Oh, cool. Well, I know why I saved all this stuff, because I still like it, but oh my Lord. Whoa, now it's gonna fall on the floor. All right, we're going to go through here and pick out some paper. There are nine and a half minutes into this video. and We haven't started. Oh, well, some days it goes like this. This is a monastery. I believe that was in Prague, but I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder if there's gargoyle stuff in here. But alas, there wasn't. So I pulled out some old stuff and gray stuff and because we're talking about swallowed by the night and I am kind of coming up with a gray 
slash brown slash mysterious night happenings color scheme. And those are all pictures of like the signs and the wrought iron signs in Europe. I love taking pictures of those things. It depicts whatever kind of store it is, like a coffee shop or a butcher or anything. Um, but a lot of times people couldn't read, so those were the kind of signs they had from a long time ago. Tissue paper. Um, I pulled aside all the other bright stuff of things that I just picked out of here. Gertie, that paper there was made with the string. One day you sent me a, a link years ago to um, string that you can pull through the paper when it's painted got paint on it to do with our granddaughter anyhow so anyhow this brochure i think is from a museum in cologne germany and um it's all in german i can't read it but it has a black and white picture on it so we're going with that theme and anyhow so i'm kind of just thinking how i can lay this all out and make a abstract grid of sorts just to come up with some background paper um a background layout and then I, you know me and my circles I thought well what if I poked holes so you could peek through and see other parts and I liked that idea you know seeing through the the swallowed by the night that's our esophagus where we swallow things through those little holes I don't know I don't know I was kind of um floundering for a few minutes but then I kind of got a groove which is usually what happens um and um just gluing stuff down. That tissue paper is from Mackenzie Childs, which I have an affinity for, um, but it's too expensive. So my husband buys me a gift box and they're little tiny items and it comes with a nice big box and a tissue paper and I save it in a bin that you find in your closet years later. <laughs> it's just the way it works around here. Um, anyhow, so I decided, I started to put one of those pieces of paper, like, on point, and then I'm like, oh, nope, nope, it's gotta be, you know, right angles only, no, no diamond shaped things. Um, so anyhow, uh, coming at this from a swallowed by the night, murky, gray, black, little bit of brown or gold, I'm bringing in a little bit more with that statue from the cover of that brochure from Germany. Um, and having fun. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I got a little bit of white space. That card that got a lot of paint on it over there is murky, um, but it was torn, and I thought, well, what if I could do my journaling on that? So then I put Swallowed by the Night in places with my Stabilo All, did some circles, of course, and kind of put fog or murkiness on it by getting it all wet and squishing it around a little bit. And this makes my heart sing. Don't ask me what the what the deal is, but you know it does. And then I started, you know, doing little doodles here and there and adding some fog to the corners of some of that paper and just just in my simple mind trying to make it all cohesive. And I added a little bit of brown also Stabilo because of the gold brown tones in some of those papers and again in my tiny little pea brain there's the National Geographic yellow happening and in my little brain um, right or wrong I'm just having fun and that's all that matters that is all that matters um, and I did my journaling about how Murray ran away so people thought he was taken by some crazy cathedral thief but no he ran away so anyhow i'm tripping off my paper to sort of make the same size pages here and having a grand old time thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow let's find out what happens to murray